Your fans, I, I do want to apologize. I feel like I've been doing a lot of apologizing recently. Um, I'm sorry. Next time, if you. Y'all, so I know I look rough. We're not going to talk about it. Um, I've had a long few days, and honestly, I never got to record my intro for the video that y'all are about to see because I was not prepared for the video y'all are about to see. What's up, KP Nation? It's your girl, The Real and I'm back with another video. So, I'm going to give y'all a quick little run through real quick before we get straight into this video. Um, Nate P. Fleming called me and told me that he was going to put me on a blind date. I drive an hour to his house, excited for the blind date, and this happened. <laughs> Bro, ain't no way. I'm going to count down from three. I'm All right. Do this. Guys, I really feel like this is a match made in heaven, bro. Three, two, one. Look at each other. Bro, what are you doing? All right, so y'all, I'm here. I just pulled up and fuck. This house is nice, little no bitch. Basically, I walk in and he tell me to blindfold myself and basically sit and wait while he go get the person I'm going on a date with. So, I do that. Here's a little clip of me blindfolded. Y'all, so he, I got me, I can't see. He got me ready for this blind day. I'm nervous. I'm nervous. I don't normally get put on blind dates, for real. I've been on a few, but I trusted them a little bit more than I trust him. So I'm nervous. So, y'all pray for me. Let's hope that he talking about this man gonna be my husband. Let's hope he really got my husband. But we gonna see. <laughs> I'm nervous how I stop this. And then, you know, once the blindfold comes off and it's the reveal happens, yeah, y'all just gotta keep watching the video to see what happened from there because what? Bro, what are you doing? Now, for those that know, then those that may not know, I am friends with Vaughn and his ex. And their business is not my business. I didn't know nothing about what they had going on. So for Nate to do that, yeah, I felt the way. I definitely did because now I'm going to look like bad. If you know girl code, you know that I should not be caught with my ex, with my friend's ex nigga. Period. So I called her. Man, okay, so I'm pissed, y'all. As y'all can see, I'm sweating. So I'm getting here and I'm thinking it's going to be a blind date. Like it's going to be a good blind date. I'm excited. This man didn't have me go on a blind date with my homie's ex nigga. Or I don't know what their situation is, but my homie's nigga. Like, no, that's not what we do. So what I'm finna do is I'm finna call her and I'm finna ask her if she knew that he was out here getting put on blind dates. Are y'all done done or what? Because I'm confused. Very much confused. I am very much confused. And I hope she answered because I don't, I don't have the time. It's the disrespect for me. How did you not know? Hello? Hello? Yeah. Okay. What's going on? Okay. One, I know we ain't spoken in a long time. Hey, girl. How are you? So, I have a question. I don't know what the status of your relationship is or nothing. That's not really my business. But did you know that Vaughn was out here getting put on blind dates? No. So, um... I just, so you know Nate P. Fleming? You know him? Y'all cool? Yeah, 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 yeah. So he know y'all situation? Yeah, I would think he knows pretty much, like, the most of it. I don't know. Okay. I, you know. Because he called me and told me he was putting me on a blind date, and the blind date was you know who? It was Ron? Yeah. Why would he do that? That's what I'm trying to figure out. I'm trying to figure out, like, I was trying to see, like, was y'all in cahoots? Like, was this a thing? Was I being tested? Like, I don't know, because we did the date, and then we took the blindfold off, and I look, and I'm, hold on, wait, but that's my friend's nigga. Yeah, that's, like, I might say no, you crossed the line. Because you obviously didn't know, but like that's Nate crossing a line, like a, a major line. Like you didn't do that. Like if you know, like what was he trying to do? Like that's 
seen me like so snaky. Like, like, why would you do that? And that's what I'm trying to figure out because he, he, he claimed that he didn't know. Like, that he didn't know that all of us were friends. How would he not know that? Like, we follow each other on Instagram and everything. Right. I feel like that's his case. Nate. Like that. Hold on, because I just walked back into his house because he he claims that he didn't know that we were friends. Uh, yeah. I may have, may not have known y'all y'all was friends. And, and I was just trying to be a good, good, good friend. That's it. You wasn't trying to be a good friend. Let's get that straight. I was just, I was just looking out for Vaughn and, and I just saw how lonely he was and, and I just, I figured this would be good. That's not your place. But that's not your place. You don't really, like, I, I don't understand why you would do this. Wait, so you're mad at me too? What do you think? Okay. Because all of y'all are friends. So okay. how did you not know that I was their friend too? I knew when I, I thought that's what was going to help things. How was it going to help? Because since you guys already know each other, you, you like, the Okay. Like, for instance, okay, you guys don't have to, like, do you know his favorite color? No. Oh, shit. Um, Why would I know his favorite color? That's her job. Do you know his birthday? Barely, yeah. yes. Okay, so the, the, the fact that you guys can skip past all the little BS, you, you guys already know each other. That's what makes things easier on y'all. And Emily, I, 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 I am truly, truly sorry, but I... Didn't you move I on? Don't wanna hear, I really don't want to hear anything else that comes out of your mouth. Like, because I don't care. Are we Are we still friends? No. Like, I don't want to. I don't want nothing to do with you. You did some snaky, slimy shit, and I don't want to have anything to do with you. you didn't you move? Didn't you move on? For being a real friend and calling me and letting me know what happened. Oh, but didn't you move on? No. Oh. So technically, y'all so are. I messed up. I'm focused, I'm focused on my dog right now, and for you to pull all this, it just shows what kind of character you are. So I'm gonna hang up the phone before I get any more aggravated, and that's that. Okay. Well, can I can I end it off at like I'm I, I really am sorry. Like I thought you moved on, You're and I was terrible trying, friend. I, I was trying to help Vaughn move on. You're a terrible. And, like friend. I'm I'm sorry. Like I really am. Terrible friend. <laughs> Back home. I will. Um, Bye. Right, bye. Bye. So I, I, you I, should feel terrible. I, I, so I, this I, is I, my I, real question. I felt so. Yeah. So you and your roommate didn't discuss anything. No. Uh, so they didn't. He didn't know either. He didn't know. I knew. Like I knew you guys like knew each other, but I was trying to like like I figured like you guys. Since you guys are lonely, you guys been out of relationships, I could just set you guys up and then we can all be like one big happy family. I wasn't I wasn't meaning for all the drama to take place. Like I, I really wasn't. Like and now Emily's mad, I think Vaughn's mad, you're mad. It, I was just trying to do it like like don't get me wrong, like it was a joke, but like it was a joke in like a way of like haha, -ha, not like be you up and like choke you well, up. Well, I don't think it, like, I don't, it, would, it is not funny. How would you like if I put you on a blind date with your ex? Man, fuck my ex, I'd kill her on sight. I mean, uh, I would uh, give her a handshake and, and appreciate everything she has done in my life, which has caused me hell. Wow, okay, well, at this point, so, I have a headache now because now you, shot? you don't even understand what they finna call. Like what you finna call. Now what if she call him and what if they really still be whatever? Then what? Then what you gonna do? You just messed up the potential of whatever, whatever. I'm just gonna apologize multiple, multiple times until they forgive me. You think apology is enough? What? Should I get him flowers? I, I can get I them. really wish you would have thought more about this, honestly. I really wish. But obviously you don't think. Did you did you did you appreciate the fact that I extended myself to put you on a blind date though? No. Uh, I'ma try again. Round two? No, I'm not doing another blind date you gotta, with you. You Ever gotta, again you gotta, in life. You gotta put trust in me. Ever again in life.
ever again. Um, guys, for 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 your fans, I I do want to apologize. I feel like I've been doing a lot of apologizing recently. Um, I'm sorry. Next time, if you give me the chance to set you up on a blind, I won't even make it a blind date. I'll make sure you guys know. Who I need a cash app or something. Yeah. See, what had happened was, see, I'm broke. I'm broke. I make uh, I make a dollar on YouTube a month. That's it. Uh, yeah, that's a G Shock. I've had it since high school. I know. Yeah. I'm gonna just take this. Damn. I always wanted one. I never got one. So, that's mine. but I always wanted one. So I'm just go ahead and. Oh fuck. Well, luckily I wasn't wearing my expensive watch because they would be crying. Well, how much is your expensive watch? Is it more than my gas money? No, it's only a dollar. Yeah, the expensive watch, a dollar. Okay, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's, it's just So, dollar. it's basically giving, y'all want to see me put Napoli Feminine on a, a blind date? Oh, you going to put me on a blind date? Yeah. For real? Yeah. You ain't going to fuck me over though, right? No, I got you. I promise you, I got you. It's going to be the best blind date do, ever. Okay. Do, do you want to ask me about like, like what, what I find attractive or anything like that? Uh, no, not really. I think I know your type. I can what, what's glance. What's my type then? I can glance. What, what's my type? Don't worry about it. You'll see. All right. Well, I, I'm having this feeling like you're about to you fuck me over. You like, you like black women, right? I do. Okay, you like women tall, taller than you? No. You like you like to be the tall one in a relationship? I, I, I like to be the tall one. Girls gotta be about this height, like around here. You like, like girly girls or like mannish girls? I like both in between, to be honest. Okay, I think I got someone for you. For real? Yep, perfect. When when, perfect. when is the date happening? Um. Give me some time. I'm gonna set it up. I gotta see. I gotta see when she's available. Like I, I really feel like you're gonna fuck me over. On no, this. I just gotta make sure she wax her chest and everything. Wax and get herself chest. together. Yeah. Chest. Wax chest. I gotta yeah. Wax her chest. That. But it's okay. So probably like next week we're gonna set you up on this blind date, and I'm gonna bring her with me. If she gotta wax her chest, no. No, it's okay. I'll do it for her. So you, you won't even know it happened. It doesn't matter who does it for who. It's going to be so smooth, you never going to do it happen. It's going to be like it never existed. No hair to be found. Not a hair follicle in Just, sight. That's, that's a man. And like the ass, like butt. Okay. That butt might be a little I understand hair. that. I understand that. But. Make sure you get those couple of nipple hairs. Well, you said like some women have beards and chest hairs too. Yeah, that's not for me though. It's okay. That's not for me. Y'all can be a couple. Nah. I got a friend that do tattoos. Like maybe she can tattoo you while you wax her. I wax her as she's tattooing me. Oh, she's a tattoo artist? Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, cool. Okay, cool. I need more tattoos. Yeah, I'm saying that you can wax her chest while she tattoo you. Tattoos are free? Mm, you might have to give her some, you know. Some what? Sucky sucky. Suck. <laughs> no, no, not like that. Not like that. <laughs> no. <laughs> Not like that. You know, like nipples or something. Okay. As long as there's no hair on them. I haven't really seen them. And it looked like post eggs though. It, like it, it, this you got the a, big like little the thing look like that. And this is a female. Yeah. Grade A. I'm not talking Fresh about, off the form. I'm not talking about some female that once was a dude but decided to get she, no, it's a female. It's a full female. Yes. I got you. Just, y'all, be on the lookout for this date. I'm putting him on. It's going down, okay? So, probably, mm, let me go get her together. Let me go hit her up. Make sure she want him or whatever. Make sure he's your type. And then, we're going to be back with that date, okay? I'm you getting, excited? Yes. Yeah, super excited. And let me just take another shot because um, I, I really don't know how I feel about this. I... It's okay. I feel like it's gonna be a great day. I'm ready. That's what happens when you decide to put two of your friends on a date without caring about the ex-girlfriend and all the extra stuff, you know, knowing name. people entanglements. My name ain't Jada. I don't like entanglements. So it's okay, cause we're gonna entangle him in some pubic hairs. And you know, before he catch on to what I just said, y'all, we out. Until next time, we will see y'all next time. <laughs>